In 2006, Samsung released the first mass-produced solid-state drive. It was a 32 gigabyte drive for $699. In that same year, Sony released the PlayStation 3 at $499 for the 20 gigabyte unit and $599 US dollars for the 60 gigabyte unit. It would take 10 years before SSDs became an affordable solution for gaming consoles. And in that time, Sony had already moved on to newer generations of consoles. Given that these consoles were never designed with an SSD in mind, does installing one make any difference? That is the question I want to answer today. In a previous video, I installed an SSD replacing the original retail hard drive. And in that same video, I mentioned about doing performance tests against the original drive. Thank you for all the comments on that video and asking about those results. Today, I'm going to present them to you. I will do my best to compare these drives, but this is by no means scientific. I am not in a laboratory and I don't have any fancy equipment. I have this console, some games, a controller, and a game capture device. I will also show some game capture in the video of games that I really enjoy playing. At the end of the video, I will compile the results to determine if the SSD does make a difference in performance on the PlayStation 3. The first game I am going to test is Gran Turismo 6. This game launched at the very end of the PS3 life on December 6, 2013, a month after the launch of the PS4 in fact. It's a beautiful racing game that really pushes the hardware to its limits. Already it looks like the SSD is loading the game faster. I will skip through these menus as fast as I can to get straight to the racing at which point the timer will stop. Okay the hard drive has loaded the menu so I will skip through the menu as fast as I can selecting the same racetrack. The second race is about to start, so the timer should be stopping soon. Wow, that is more than a 30 second difference between loading times of the two drives. It will be interesting to see if there are similar results with other games. While testing, I did notice the menus loaded at different speeds. It's a bit subtle, so I'm going to replay it back at 50% speed to make the loading times more noticeable. The SSD seems to load the icons almost immediately, while the hard drive seems to be loading each icon one after another. I tried this several times and noticed similar results each time. Okay, that is a test of read speeds, but what about write speeds? I recently picked up Fear 3 and haven't played it yet, so I need to copy the game to my drive. Using Multiman, I am going to copy the disk to each drive and measure the speed. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed this video up a bit while this copies. Okay, write speeds are pretty comparable with the hard drive taking only 20 seconds longer. Not really anything to write home about. This is likely because we are limited to the read speeds of the Blu-ray drive. Now I will launch Fear 3 from the internal drives. This is my first playthrough of Fear 3. The game launched in the summer of 2011 as a first-person shooter psychological horror game. You play as a genetically enhanced soldier with superhuman reflexes and the ability to manipulate time and also as the undead spirit of his brother who possesses incredible psychic powers. 
Again, I am going to navigate through the menus as fast and consistently as possible between the two tests. I will skip through any cutscenes and stop the timer when gameplay starts. With both games loaded, it looks like the SSD was about 15 seconds faster. This load time difference was not quite as noticeable as Gran Turismo. My first playthrough was using the retail hard drive on the right hand side, and I was really feeling the vibes of this prison environment for the first time. I went to test for write speeds between the two drives again. This time I am going to remove the limitation with the Blu-ray drive. The game I went to test is MotorStorm Pacific Rift. I don't have a physical copy of the disc, so instead I will use FTP to copy the game to internal storage. First I need to open Multiman and grab my IP address. I need to leave Multiman open until all of the files are copied over. Now on my computer I will open up FileZilla and copy the files over. This is going to take a while again, so I will fast forward the time in the video clip. Well, I am looking at just under 2 minutes difference or about 15% faster with the solid state disk. The full game was about 12 gigabytes in size on a 1 gigabit network taking about 10 and 12 minutes to copy. Now I will test startup times for MotorStorm Pacific Rift, also known as MotorStorm 3 in some markets. This game released in the fall of 2008 and is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. The game features 8 vehicle classes including bikes, ATVs, buggies, rally cars, racing trucks, mud pluggers, big rigs, and for the first time, monster trucks. The monster trucks are able to ride over other cars and is featured on the game cover. The game's environment is somewhat destructible. Again, the SSD just squeaked by with the win of about 15 seconds faster. While this may not be a large difference, each race is only a few minutes long and in a one hour gaming session, this could mean getting an extra race or two. After copying all of these games to the hard drive, I have run out of disk space on my 80 gigabyte retail hard drive. I only have just under 4 gigabytes of disk space left, and the next game I want to copy over is 14 gigabytes in size. Well, that's already a great reason to upgrade from a smaller hard drive to a larger SSD. To continue with this test, I am either going to have to delete games or change the test up a bit. I will do the latter and ask, how much faster is loading a game from an SSD compared to loading it from disk? The game I want to test is Infamous 2. 
It's another recent pickup that I have not had a chance to play yet. On the right hand side, I will load the game from the disc, and on the left hand side, I have already copied the game to my one terabyte SSD. Well, first the game needs to install an update, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through the update. The update on the SSD finished 22 seconds faster. Now I can start the game, so I'll reset the timer. Infamous 2 is an action-adventure game set in an open-world environment published by Sony and released in the summer of 2011, exclusively for the PlayStation 3. As the name suggests, it's a sequel to Infamous. Both games were developed by the same studio, Sucker Punch Productions. I also have not played the first game. What do you think? Should I play them in order, or can I just jump in with the second one? The protagonist Cole McGrath possesses electricity-based superpowers, which are used in combat as well as navigating the city. A follow-up for the franchise named Infamous Second Son was released in March 2014 for the PlayStation 4. Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks you'd never know. And then one day, a package found me. Tesla told me about you. I'm not gonna let it happen. Okay, it doesn't look like I can skip through the cutscenes here, so I've stopped the timer when the cutscene started. I've also cut the video to show some short gameplay combat. However, loading the gameplay up to the cutscenes, the SSD is about 21 seconds faster than reading the game from Blu-ray disc and hard drive combination. I will call that a win for the SSD over the Blu-ray disc drive. Another benefit of the SSD is to save wear and tear on the more expensive and harder to replace Blu-ray disc drive. Before I share the compiled results, I want to do a quick recap. Metal Gear Solid 4 I didn't test, it was just a little bit too big for the retail hard drive. Gran Turismo 5 I also didn't test because I tested Gran Turismo 6, and Gran Turismo 6 took about 7 hours to install on the hard drive. The original MotorStorm I didn't test because I went ahead and tested the MotorStorm Pacific Rift because I wanted to use the FTP, and so I downloaded that one. Infamous 2 I tested. I did skip through the cutscene on the video, although I had to record all the way through. Um, I did play a little bit of gameplay. Pretty fun game. And then Fear 3, of all the games I tested, this actually was the most fun. I continued playing it before I actually put the video together. I highly recommend Fear 3 if you were looking for a good horror game. Now let's get to the results. Without fanfare or drumroll, here are the results. For every test, the SSD outperformed the hard drive. I only tested loading four games, and I'm sure if I tested even more games, I could have gathered more definitive results. But for these four games, they range anywhere from 13 seconds to 31 seconds faster with a solid state drive. A better way to show this data is by percentage, as it normalizes the data to a common scale. Gran Turismo 6 gains the most advantage by running from a solid state disk with Infamous 2 coming in at a close second. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please put a like on it. Also, be sure to subscribe and get notified of my future videos. I will include a link to the SSD drive that I used for testing. Also, I performed a similar test on the Xbox comparing the performance of a storage expansion card to an external SSD drive that you might also enjoy. I will include a link and a thumbnail at the end here. Thanks, and goodbye for now.